Are you a beginner when it comes to free commerce or DCA bots? Or maybe do you just have a small bank run available? Then this bot is definitely for you. If you don't want to watch all the settings that I will explain right now and you just want to skip to the back test, there will be a timestamp in the description so you can jump straight to the back test. Now this bot is so well for beginners because it requires very low amount of money to trade with and also it's very easy to manage because it covers such a high drop. So the first thing that you have to set are the pairs. I recently made a video where I show how you can choose um, the best pair so that your bot makes the most amount of profit. Um, please watch the video because selecting pairs will make a huge difference to your performance. As I showed in the video that I made, selecting the wrong pair and selecting the right pair, there was a difference of triple the profit. Now, when it comes to the strategy section, the only thing you really want to consider is changing your max active deals so that it refers more to your active balance and then after that increasing your base order size. So one bot will require $250 for one deal. If you have 10 pairs, your first goal is to set 10 pairs. In my case, I'll just do nine. So the bot requires your total balance. After that, you can then increase the base order and safety order size. Coming to the deal starting condition, um, as with other bots, we don't really require on any market conditions or any technical indicators. We just want to always open a new position as soon as possible. Unfortunately for most exchanges and so for Binance, there is no option for an ASAP trade. So we can do a workaround, which is the RSI 7 below 100. Because it will never exactly go to 100, it will always be below 100 and it will always open a trade. As for the take profit, I recommend anywhere between 1 and 3%, where if you choose to be on the lower side, so for example 1%, then you get the profit more often. With 3%, you get the profit not so often, but when you make profit, it's more. And in total, with 3%, it will be more. So it's basically just a personal preference. So for me, for example, I don't really care how long my deals are open for. I just want to maximize my profit. That's why I always stick with 3%. As for the safety orders, you can just copy the settings. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail. You can just have a look at the table. The table will basically explain, explain you exactly what the bot does. Uh, the most important thing to always consider when using a bot is to always have a look at the required change. If we just have a look at the last safety order, we can see with a deviation of 60%. So we cover a total drop of 60%. And in case that happens, we only need and require a change of about 54%. So to put that into perspective, typically when something goes down 60%, you need a 150% move just to go back to the original point. But because this bot is averaging down so well, we only need 54%. And this also tells us that we don't depend on markets going up all the time. We can also make profit in a bear market. Now we'll show that to you in the backtest results in a minute. Now, as for the backtesting, I have just uh, created a script in TradingView that overlays exactly what the bot would have done in the past. So you can see all the blue arrows, which is every time that the bot is buying, uh, whether that is opening a new trade or executing a safety order and all the pink arrows is every time that we're making profit. Down below you can also see the percentage how much we make daily so right here it's about 0.05% which is uh, very low so considering if you add up to if you add that up to a full year it's still very low um, but you have to consider that this is on the Bitcoin pair which is of course the biggest pair so it's also the one that moves the slowest. So we will make the lowest profit. So what you can see here on the chart is that when the price is going sideways or it's going up a little, we are making profit very often. So every other day we are making profit. And if we are in a big bear market, you can see that the profit is not made that often. So this is the most extreme example that I could find. But in between these two deals, uh, you would need to wait about 42 days. But it's just a mindset adjustment because all 
those deals combined together are probably lower profit than this one deal, the close here. And that is because there are much more safety orders being filled um, when we're in the bear market than when we're in an uptrend market. So just keep that in mind. It's just a small mindset adjustment you have to make. You can also see this really well on your history. So if we take a look at, for example, this trade, um, the duration was only about two hours. So when we opened the trade up to closing our trade, it only took about two hours. So it was very quick. It was able to fill one safety order and we managed to make $42. Now, if you look at another trade, for example, this one, this one took 13 days. So from opening to the close, it took 13 days. And it, during this time, it managed to fill seven safety orders. Because of that, the overall size of the position was way higher. And so instead of making $42, we made $525. So just have that in, in mind that the longer your deals are open and the more safety orders that are being filled, the more profit you will make. So don't worry if you don't see profit for a few days or even for a few weeks. Also, what I want to show you, if, if we switch over to the Doge USD pair on Bitfinex, we can see that this pair hasn't been around for a very long time in this exchange. And in fact, from the beginning where it started trading all the way to now, the pair went down 64%. But if you have a look at the lower bottom where you can see how much we make daily, we can see that we make 0.08% even though this whole time the price dropped 65%. And also adding more to that, our max drawdown was only 3.5%. So this bot is very, very low risk. You can, re you can use it with without having any prior experience. And you will n probably not be in in a big loss anytime soon. Because at this coin, Doge was down about 65%. And the max drawdown is only 3.5%. And during this whole period, we managed to make 26.46% profit, even though it went down. So that is the power of dollar cost averaging. Always keep that in mind. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more free commerce tutorials or just passive income ideas with crypto, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and also let me know in the comments how your bots are doing. Bye.